Hello guys, what's up? I have good news. So, Sony has recent, uh, recently released the VRR update for the X900H for those who own it. It's been basically a, a year since the release of X900H and we've been waiting for this update for so long, but it's finally here. And it only has one bad thing, which is the local dimming. When you activate the VRR, the local dimming is turned off. That's the only, like, uh, the, uh, the only catch, yeah. But other than that, it's all good. It has 4K 120, HDR, 12-bit color, RGB, whatever else. Anyway, so, to enable this feature, you use your, first you gotta update your TV by I mean you can search it up on Google or I'll put the link in the de description so you can check it out and then after you update your TV with uh, um, I mean after you download that thing you copy the file I mean you unzip the unzip the file then copy it to the USB flash drive and make sure you format that flash drive to, uh, um, to like a FAT32 type alright and then after you're done after, uh, copying the file, use the USB to update your TV. And after it's done, well, you just turn on your PC and then go to your NVIDIA control panel or whatever AMD thing you have. If you have NVIDIA, go to Setup G-Sync. And if you have AMD, open the control panel or whatever thing you have and set up a free sync so for g-sync you enable check uh, you check check this box all right enable full screen or this if you want windowed check um, um, select the, your tv and enable this make sure you, you do because if you don't vrr will not work because for some reason this this thing is not validated as GC compatible, but it is compatible. You just have to turn this thing on. I have tested it, it works perfectly. So here's proof. I mean, you might not see it on YouTube because YouTube does not support VRR, but I, I can like describe how it looks to you. And you can also test it out w with your own TV and PC. Anyway, so if you look here or over here as it goes down, it feels like it's stuttering a bit and it doesn't go smoothly. Sometimes it even like, um, like, yeah, it stutters. That's it. And it's really bad. If I put it, if I cap it at 40 FPS, it's more noticeable like I mean let's let's do it let's use the 40 to 60 because it's more noticeable that way you can see that it stutters I mean I'm sure you can see it because on YouTube VRR is disabled or not supported currently so you can see it but I mean yeah also if VSync is off and there's a lot of screen tearing here and here you can see it as this thing moves the screen tear is basically like a weird line thing which it, which comes and goes when VSync is off. And then we have G-Sync or VRR or FreeSync which smooths everything, makes it look natural and smooth. Everything is uh, how, it, how it was supposed to be, even though this is ranging from 40 to 60 FPS or how about we put it at 50 FPS I mean yeah look look at how smooth it is the, there is there is no such thing as stuttering anymore or screen tearing it's just the smoothness that's all there is I'll change the frame the FPS to something a bit higher for example, 60 minimum and 
and um, hold on and 90 max it's even more noticeable you can see it uh, hold on when I switch to VSync there is a noticeable stutter it's also noticeable to you guys you can see it if you focus on the lower part of the of this thing pendulum you can see how it stutters and it slows down and, and it's not smooth and if I switch to G-Sync everything is smoothed out just as you would expect everything is natural and smooth screen tear free stutter free basically the solution to the problem I hope you guys have a uh, have a nice day and uh, be sure to like this video and subscribe for more videos like this and yeah I guess that's it thank you